Have you ever been curious about what the world would look like through the eyes of a small animal or some sort of insect? Um, either because you're curious, you want to gain empathy or learn about biology or psychology of that animal, um, well, look no further than Anavision. Hi, I'm Sam, the founder and partner of Anavision. This project started with the goal of pushing education beyond the textbook towards something more engaging and personally meaningful. We developed a virtual reality platform that would let users see through the eyes of different animals to experience different ways of seeing the world firsthand. First with the tarsier, a tiny primate with huge eyes, and now with the honeybee, Anavision brings to light concepts in several areas of study. When it's integrated into a class's curriculum, students can learn about ecology and evolutionary biology, optical physics, and philosophy in an entirely intuitive and impactful way. Hi everyone, I'm Christy and I am the project manager for Anavision, which is a virtual reality project at the Dolly Lab. This term we built B-Vision, which highlights the different adaptations that bees visually perceive that are different from humans. So the experience starts off with you in a beehive, virtually of course, and you realize that you are low on nectar because we built this nectar health bar and as you start to realize that you need more nectar you realize that you can fly out of the beehive and land on different flowers which are beautiful and very fun um, so you fly out of the hive and you land on different flowers that show different visual effects because when you're in bee vision you perceive more fertile flowers with more nectar better than in human vision. And finally, you grab some nectar using your virtual reality hand and you grab some to bring back to your hive and your nectar health bar will then um, go up. And finally, the last adaptation that we really tried to highlight in our virtual reality experience is the arc back to the hive, which is an adaptation that honeybees have that allow them to track where their hive is in relation to where they are. Um, so this VR experience was built out by an awesome group of developers and designers, and they will be talking about how they contributed now. Hi, I'm Bill. I worked on constructing a system for B-Vision material switching. I also began to assemble the scene from the various models which were provided. Worked on the initial iteration of the Nectar Health Bar UI, research into rendering optimization to handle a large number of objects in scene and configure the shaders for objects. Hey, I'm Eamon. I worked on transitioning between scenes. I made shaders, which are pieces of code that affect an object's surface appearance. I added some interactable nectar globules, and I experimented with more complex aspects of bee vision, such as mimicking the effects of bees' compound eyes. Hi, I'm Dorothy. I'm a designer, and I made um, the Maya assets for Anavision made the, the bee goggles themselves, quite a few flowers and their UV counterparts, um, the bee, and the overall layout of our floating island. Hi, I'm Jasmine and I'm a 20 and this term I mainly worked on the design side of the project. So I helped brainstorm some ideas for the user experience and storyboarded those. I also worked in Maya to create some beehive assets that we could use in uh, our project. And I also worked on a tutorial to help users learn the different controls and how to fly, uh, switch visions, etc. cetera. Um, as for the development side, I was mainly a development mentor this term. So I was a resource, um, source of help for anybody who needed it on the team, as well as um, just uh, my role was to look over the code and make sure that everything uh, worked well together. So yeah, that's what I did this term. Hi, I'm Kathy. So this term on Bee Vision, I worked on letting users fly through the air as a bee, the audio component, and some UI elements like a mini tutorial and a health bar.